It's like a new take on the school store. Super mm -hmm. cool store, Rebecca. Thank you. All new for you this morning, a look at the stigma surrounding boys and ballet. Research shows 93% of boys involved in ballet say they've at least been teased or called names. And sometimes it happens for all of us to see. The future king of England will be putting down the Play-Doh to take on religious studies, computer programming, poetry, and ballet, among other things. <laughs> Okay, an ugly moment for GME's Lara Spencer, who apologized for that comment she made in August, drawing widespread backlash. She said that as more boys worldwide actually get involved with ballet. But as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Jenny Johnson shows us, all new at 630, that's not exactly happening here in western New York. There's something missing in this studio. Can you see what it is? Haven't figured it out yet? I'll give you a few more seconds. The answer is boys. Uh, this is like uh, an interview from more kids, uh, from more boys to go here. Mm-hmm. Oh. Do you think that should happen? Yes. At Configuration Dance Theater and School of Ballet in Williamsville, there are currently only five boys signed up for dance classes. I'm really pleased with that number. But when compared to the overall enrollment that we have, it's not as, not as good as I would like it to be. Configuration has a total of 200 dancers between two studios, meaning only 2.5% of those dancers are boys. And Lev is one of them. I'm like the only boy in the, in the whole studio who dances there. So why aren't more boys doing ballet? Boys put up with a lot of ribbing for being in ballet because of the belief that it is this feminine art form. There's a stigma of men in sports and unfortunately how dance doesn't correlate to a male being an athlete. But in places like England, there's a lot more legitimacy to the profession. Outside the U.S., headlines show that boys are outnumbering girls in ballet, but why isn't that happening here? They need to be exposed to the art form more. Overseas, you can watch ballet on major networks, but flip on the television here and you may be out of luck. But there's another way to give boys exposure. Brothers come into studios and watch their sisters and try to continue the awareness. Believe me, kids will know whether that, that's something that they want to continue and pursue. When you're 12, do you think you'll still be dancing? Yes. So what would you say to a boy who is considering dancing but is too scared to join? What advice would you tell him? I would tell him that you can, you can do it. In Buffalo, Jenny Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News. Well, Love him. He steals your heart, right? He's got the moves. I know. Oh, nice. How cool is that, though, that he yeah. is breaking stereotypes and going for everything that he believes in? I love that. It's all about encouraging your kids to try different things and whatever they like, right? I'll tell you, I, if my mom took me out of soccer and put me in dance, I would have been a much happier child. <laughs> <laughs> but that's besides the point. Anyway.